six o'clock in the morning there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <it is. laughs> okay. Um, let me just go through a few things with you. If there's certain certain subjects, they'll just cut us off, as they do with uh, Win Miller, and. Uh, yes. As a result, I'll just make contact with you again. If worst case scenario comes, I might need to ring you through Skype on your landline or mobile. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Yes, uh, you can contact my mobile at 970. I'll just text it in the bar here. Thank you. Uh, pardon me, I just got a new phone, so just let me... Look at the uh, number. Yeah, it's there. I thought that was it. Sorry about that. Just got in there now. You do what you need to do. You know that's that's for sure. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Um, now, I have I have listened to the interview that you've done with uh, I think Gladwell uh, is the name. Yes, called Gladwell. Gwen. Yeah, uh, Gladwell. Yes. Big your pardon. There is, like I say to Miller, in every sentence, it's like a 360 degree turn in my head. And then when you set, re reel off the next sentence, it's another 360-degree turn. Yes. So within a course of a minute, we're looking at probably six, seven sentences. <laughs> and just like a little child standing in the middle of a room that's blindfolded and turned around and turned around in the opposite direction, there is no reference point, no, uh, there is no nothing for me to grasp onto. Okay. The, the only thing that I have is that everything that you say feels natural, feels instinctually right. On an impressional level, I understand everything. But on a conscious level, I understand nothing, if that makes sense. Yes, it does. Uh, a lot of the things that I've done and I've walk, made the walk through uh, by my own choice, um, is typically behind closed doors where the government films it for themselves and does not allow the people to see those things. And so it's very difficult for the, for the a human or a, you know, a, a man or a being on this planet to consciously be aware that this world exists. And it's, 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 it's unfortunate that it is done that way. But because of the security measures that they have now, you, you can't take video recordings in. You can't take, um, um, you know, phones where you can – people just can't shoot that because they won't allow it when you enter government facilities. So it's very difficult for the people to be, you know, cognizant of these things that have occurred in my life. Yeah, well, that, that, that is that. And that's why I'm actually ringing you to start off where, okay. where the interviews of you, and there isn't many of them, by the way. No, there's not. No, there's, there's only two. Uh, that's one of them was with Gordon, and that's... Uh, yes, uh, let, me, let me clarify on uh, uh, Mr. Gunch. Mr. Gunch left our program about six years ago. Uh, he is no longer w and will never, to my knowledge, be... Uh, back in our program, so that it's unfortunate that that video is out there. If I would have known uh, his cur his level of courage and his fortitude when I did the seminar with uh, Mr. Gunch, I would have never I would have never stepped into that arena because I'm a man that lives and does what he says, and and I I try not to be associated with those that don't. Okay, well, thank you very much um, for that. I don't, I don't know what to s say to that because you, you said to me that I think what you just said is that he is a man of fortitude and courage. No, that lacks it. No, he does has oh, not. He didn't have it. when the when the when the fights came to him, he did not have the courage to stand his ground on what he taught and what he said, which is 
a bad reflection on my part of character because I went into a seminar with him with with the with his word that he would do what he said. And when it was time for him, showtime for him to, you know, because he was always in, everybody's always in the background, go, Russell, you know, go. I don't need your encouragement. I know what I know. And he was always one of those guys that was, you know, saying, go, you know, you can do it, you know, and I, and that, and I can applaud that. But don't come out teaching with me in the public view and have, when your turn is to go step up to the plate, you can't run a 10 day timeline and, and, and you were handed a lot of, you know, I know you don't know the circumstances, but he was given a lot of things that a normal, I've never seen given to a person to, to be able to stand his ground. And because of that, uh, I, I have no, no honor for the man whatsoever. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for that. Yes. Yeah, because, you know, I, I don't do many interviews, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I've just stepped out into the uh, the campaign. I'm going to do my first campaign rally in Great Falls, Montana on uh, February 8th of this year. I'm uh, running for the director's position with uh, David Hyphen and Colin Miller. I've syntax the candidacy for the 2016 election in the U.S. And um, I'm, you know, I'm going to have to get my hand out into the public and I'm, you know, not a whole lot out there. That's the director's meeting that's advertised, sorry, I beg your pardon, that is on uh, Miller's website as the yes. director's meeting. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to be discussing a lot of postmaster skills. A lot of people are studying the techniques and they don't quite comprehend the postmastership of what it is that they are trying to get involved in. And so it's my job to go give them closure to aid them in, in any way that I can. Okay, well that, that was the next question, okay. uh, who, who, who is from um, Robert, and that question is, can we come along to that, to the director's do, meeting? Sure, uh, yes, I don't know how you could do it, but absolutely, yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, thank, thank you very much. Uh, yes, it's, uh, we, it's, open, it's, it's open to the public, so a, anyone that can make it there, absolutely. I think they're going to film it. I'm not sure. I'm not. People have their own nuances, and I, I don't. Quite frankly, I'm, I'm kind of. That's not my field. My field is banking and contracting, and, and and you know metals and the things that I do and that I comprehend. So, it's much okay. different. Life. So if we if I do come, may I bring a camera with me? Oh, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, thank you very much. And it's for one day, is it not? Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is. But if I could contact them and I could make it for two days, if there's enough n enough interest, I'm not sure what the interest levels are of of the citizens. I, I I'm just not tapped into that because I'm so much by myself and my own studies and my own. You know, it's a full-time, 24-hour-a-day walk with me, and it's, 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 you know, I don't mind being alone, so it's, it's okay for me. Oh, well, thank, thank you very much for that invite. You know, the imagination being what it is, we, we thought we had to go through many rituals and many uh, no. processes to, yeah, you've completely clarified that I'm, what I'm doing is revealing the nature of my thinking and the, and the nature of people around me as well. Oh, sure. That, you know, this like because what you're saying is so uh, what jaw dropping. You know, we can we can only grasp it on on an instinctual level. You know, it's like it's like watching a meteorite flying past. I have no idea what that meteorite is made of, but it well, absolutely captivates me to watch well, it what, and it know it's there. Well, I, I could tell you this. I've seen some very from my perspective, some very funny manifestations of like if I'll, if a U.S. senator or something sees me, they'll literally turn around and take off or running, and it's like, oh my God, it's cool, and they're running away from me, and it's just like, and people are looking at me like, did you see that? I'm like, yeah, I did. Whoa, they're they're really afraid. <laughs> so it's pretty 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 neat to watch from my perspective. <laughs> I, I I can completely um, imagine. One of the things I'm going to do with the interview with you is take it on a very personal level with oh, the sure. people that are around me as well as myself and perhaps a little bit on you because the world doesn't really know who you are 
All we know is that you're the silent partner of David Wayne Miller. And David Wayne Miller says incredible things. Each one, I, once again, I know is as right as raindrops are. You know, but to be able to spin my head around 360 degrees this way, that day, that way, uh, is very disorientating. Sure. So that's that's the statement I want to make to you, because this this conversation is going to be incredibly simplistic, and it's going to get more and more uh, specific, uh, and then it might draw away from the, into the general again. You know. Yes. Okay. Uh, feel free to ask, and feel free to to cover whatever grounds you choose to cover. Okay. Let's talk about taxes. Uh, in, in Ireland, there is so many taxes, the entire nation is being stripped away of their assets. Yes. Uh, through income tax and a variety of tax. One of the big questions that they keep asking me is, how do we access your, your banking Oh, okay. Very, very, very good. Ireland itself and the Ireland people are uh, work for the, the the post office of that country. The post office of that country gets its authorizes the banking system for that country. I have placed a marshalling security, which was a a lien against taxes through the Universal Postal Union. The Ireland Post Office is in joinder with the Universal Postal Union in Bern, Switzerland. And so they can access a, the mechanics as a marshalling security as a, and join our corporation as a postmaster. Upon that, we then take that, we, we would go to Switzerland, we would file the document there, we would send it to the central post office headquarters for the, the country of Ireland, and they would use that contract as a what's called a marshalling security. From then, they would be immune from taxes because of what I have done in the U.S. on the tax issue, and they would they would be able to build up their equity because I have a global tax based upon consumption. That's at eight percent of depends on what you buy. So only you would be only to be taxed on what you purchase, not what you make, which allows the individual, the, the, the entrepreneur, to build his own equity and then make a choice of when and where he should be taxed from. Well, once again, what, what you said sounds so, it sounds like a juicy apple. You know, the, the images right. in, my, in my head is that it it's sounds for, like a juicy it's, it's apple. For, it's for the world. It's for the world. It's, it's not just for me. The International so, Monetary Fund and the World Bank are completely aware of this, of these assets. I've disqualified their bank charters, David and I, uh, David Eiffelwin, Colonel Miller, autographed my paperwork when I walked them into the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund and disqualified them for false and misleading statements. Uh, they were they were they were actually trembling at the table that day. The lady started shaking. She goes, "Oh my God, do you know what this means?" And she just her hands just start shaking. Picks up the phone, security, you know, just scared to death. And I was like, "I know exactly what this means, and I know what I'm doing with it." Wow. Yes, and since you gave me a visitor's pass, as a visitor, I'm authorized for the inspection of the administration process. And since I have my pass, and since I can see clearly of what I'm doing, I'm walking through your illusion. Have a nice day. See, what you just said is completely breathtaking. In fact, I'm, I'm a reasonably talkative person, and you've completely taken my breath away. Well, the IMF and the World Bank are completely cognizant of this, as well as the Universal Postal Union. David and I specifically went to the Postal Union for our for the clearinghouse mechanics. We're a citizen from Ireland, a citizen from England, a citizen from France. There is no ambiguity. I'm not judgmental. I do not trespass on people's faith, how they believe in their God, or their how they choose in their sovereign position. Because everyone has that choice and everyone has that right to manifest things in the now. Uh, thank you very much. I'm not quite sure how that answers my question as to how do I access what you've done? Do I email you my details and you do the rest? How, how does I, that work? Yes, yes, I could I can get you started in the right direction. First we would start off on what's called a claim of the life. I don't know if you have a claim of the life contract, but we would start with that fundamental mechanic. We would get it 
Oh, you do have one. Yes. So you have it registered with the post office. Do you have a registration on that? Okay. You see that registration number on the back there? Uh-huh. That, that registration number, sir, you can actually file that registration number with the Universal Postal Union for a clearing and so you're setting up a routing, a, what we call a C lane, S E A hyphen lane. So you're setting up a shipping lane because you are in a shipping war. And it's only your capability to navigate yourself from point A to point B that will allow you to comprehend with knowledge what it is, how you're moving your vessel from point A to point B with your cargo of thinking, of course, that uh, authorizes the movement of your yourself. When you say accept, uh, send this through to the UPU, do you mean the, U, the UPU that's on their website and I just write to no, them? No, 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 no. You direct it to me there. You send it to them and you direct it to me so I can go there and then put it through through the necessary – they have machines there and then run, run the shipping lanes back at you, back at your central post office. Uh, London, as a matter of fact, uh, through NATO, when I mail myself around the world, I access the, uh, the London uh, military actually. I ordered out some uh, – an admiral into the sea for my safeguard. Uh, when I was traveling through Charles de Gaulle Airport, as soon as I said his name, uh, they immediately – cleared me through. It was one of nine militaries I ordered out into the field as Postmaster General of our world. Once again, uh, jaw-dropping. Uh, <laughs> jaw, 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 jaw-dropping. The, the, the mechanics of all this, I think, is what's uh, mind-boggling to me, yes. as well the, as the people that ask me these, these questions. The, it, see, what you've just told me is that I'm going to send this to you in, in some form. Correct. Okay. And then you're going to fly out in Switzerland and sort would, this out would, for me. I, I would fly to Switzerland with that con. If there are enough people involved where it's worth my time and they, people need help in that format and I, need, and I need to step out on a global level, I am prepared to do that. Well, thank you very much. And I only have one word, which is like, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's an, it's an honor to serve the people, and that's my job. My job is to make sure that people will comprehend rule one and rule equal. That is, we are in one jurisdiction, we live in one ta time frame, and we, we, we communicate with correct communication, parse syntax grammar, and it's equal for all. For all. There is, there's no ambiguity here. There's no judgment. I can't be judgmental towards a Russian, towards a Chinese, because we, we all – I have one question for you, Mark. Only one question. Yeah. What did you do with your own thought process to bring you into this realm? I, I changed it by thinking, I, I looked at myself and I thought, I know nothing about nothing. I, I literally do not know about anything. My mind only ever thinks in the future or in the past. It does not seem to be able to occupy the here and now. However much I ever try, it just whizzes back there, whizzes back there. So when you say the things that you say, it draws me back to this point, and then it just whizzes back. You know, it, it, it just will not allow me to step into this mark. I also know that the language that I've spoken since I was a child is corrupt because it does not make sense to me. It never has made sense. It's very difficult. Yes. One of the things that most people are not conscious aware of is that we are all calculating sums and differences in our thought process. And as we calculate sums and differences, we have been tricked by a, by a fraudulent corporation called the International Bureau of Weights and Measures. This is the foundation to where fiction banking, fiction grammar have measured sums and differences. So I created the Global Hyphen Bureau of the weights and measures, which now allows us to calculate and position ourselves in the now, in now time and space, and then move ourselves through the, the time space continuum. Thank, thank you very much for that. I, I thought the weights and measures was the calibration of a universal standard, an um, SI unit, so me and you can agree upon that this is a kilo and that is an inch. But, but it, it also calculates 
latitude, longitude, and the sums and di- and the articulation of sums and differences. So what we've uh, what we've created is is a chance for people to join a global hyphen bureau of the weights and measures, so we can measure the distance between ourselves. That I do not understand. Just measuring the distance between ourselves. If, if I was wanting to navigate over to you, okay. I, would, I, I would write and explain that I'm coming in the now through the Global Hyphen Bureau of the Weights and Measures, which takes me out of what? Their subject matter jurisdiction, because they're only looking for of weights and measures. They're looking for an adverb verb scenario. Okay. I... Uh, my mind has paused, and I do apologize. Okay. <laughs> it, it is what you say once again sounds intuitively right there. But, yeah, yeah. Well, but but we, my we conscious also... side will not allow me to take possession of it for some reason. Well, it just stalls. Let, let, let me create it even further for you, a step further, which I've done. We've created our own periodic table in a tetrahedron on trilateral angles. So not only can we calculate everything that we see in residual imagery through what we call a breaking it down into a quantum a least common denominator but then we can bring it back through what's called a quanta which is the pro the pluralisms of all the magnetic flux and everything that holds every life and beings together wow that's one that's one hell of a calculation yes uh, yes Yes. Yeah, so when I published the paperwork, uh, the CIA and the Department of Defense immediately pulled me off to the side because they were pretty concerned about what it meant. And uh, they were like, porthole man, worm boy, are you him? And I started correcting their silly b- b- their silly b- badges. And I said, don't hand that shit to anybody. You might get you know, slapped for stupidity. I said, you can't read, you can't write. And they all looked at each other and they're like, yeah, you're him. <laughs> and they're like, man, we need to talk to you about this paperwork. I was like, and so I started explaining it to them. And they're like, wow, you truly run the world. And I says, yes, I truly run the world. And they said, their next words were, you know, well, good luck keeping it. And I was like, well, it's for the world. It's not just for me. It's for others to commune with. So I'm giving it away. Okay. A, a direct question. If, how many of these do you need to get you to do what you need to do? This is the life of claim. Life, I live just, of life claim. I just, just just need one copy because then I would take it over I would take it over there and I'd like to have a whole group of them you know so it's just not for you you know to have so that we can show that the world is combining together let me rephrase to, that to question me. then how many okay. people do you need to get this done for you to be able to because I will do that you oh, know well, I, if, if it, you it, if you give me a number I'll go out and get that uh, you know the, the, the number is really insignificant it's 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 just a matter of, of of a foundation to where people can learn to to contract together, to we can, so we can have some you know some conformity and some and some honor amongst ourselves on how we contract, and and pull our business circles in in a, in a different construct to where we have accountability and we have su- you know actual tangible goods behind our our paperwork. Okay. Um... Where do I send this to? Do I send it to you by email or do I send it to you by uh, an attachment? Well, well, you know, I would actually, to go and put it through the mach- the mach- what I would need to do, I, I would have to have a, 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 the original. And, I, and, I, and to be honest with you, Mark, I would like the people to be there. I'd like to see, I'd like to have them see it for themselves so they can make the walk, they can make the choices. That way, because see, I can only... When you, when you say that, do you mean to accompany you to where you're going? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Okay. Because that way the people are, are cognizant of what's going on. The, the people have to see in order to know. For me to tell you these stories and for me to walk the walk, you have to be there. I only ask one thing. Don't get afraid. I... I'm going to ask you. I'm going to answer you directly. the the uh, The answer is, I do get afraid. Not not of this. It's the bureaucracy. I I do have a fear of the unknown. It's it's what actually brings me to you. The very fact that I don't know something is <laughs> so disgusting, and at the same time so 
slightly frightening. Now, before it was, you know, encompassing, but it's yes. so disgusting to me not to know something it's as simple as where my money comes from and where it goes. And what causes this two people to come together when I cannot do the same thing? It's, it disgusts me so much. That's, what, that's one of the reasons that I'm speaking to you. Oh, you know, okay. it, so I will be the, making that journey with you. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I would, I, anyone who chooses to listen to this and chooses to get in, involved with, with our corporation and how we navigate ourselves from point A to point B, it's important for me as, as a leader and as someone who is, has done this, it's important for me that they feel comfortable and that they see it for themselves because everybody's like, no, no, no. I ask only one thing. When I go walking through the door, don't get afraid. I will not. That's the only thing I ask of the people because knowledge brings courage and it brings the capability to manifest things that you may or may not consciously be aware of. But in your mind, be positive in your thought process. Be peaceful. Right. And with that, that, that capability to, to manifest that, but yet not be attached to it, well, then we'll create your manifestations. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm going to slightly uh, divert from what you're saying. Each thing that you're telling me, once again, sounds right as rain, you know, right as rain. But as you know, I've been stuck in this paradigm for so long. Any deviation from it seems to be a world of darkness. Yes. And I'm, I'm not even sure that I can actually see the light of day anymore, if you understand what I mean. I am, I'm only going by my instinct. It's only my blind ignorance that has brought me to you and David Wayne Miller. You know, and it's, I make that, and I make that statement outright. It is blind ignorance that has brought me to you. Well, it's 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 the the realization that you woke up to something and it wasn't what you thought it was. Correct. And 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 that made you go out and study, so you could have a get comprehension, so you could ask me questions that are very good. Thank you. The this this next question baffles me as well. And I have tried to research this, research this on Google it and you know, Yahoo it. <laughs> oh. My local reference library doesn't even have the codes and conducts for uh, post office. It doesn't even have those codes. I know what has happened to them. They've been taken away. Andrew Carnegie stopped all of his libraries throughout the Western Hemisphere and some of the Southern Hemisphere with all of this information. And I'm, I instinctively know that he knew what was happening to him. He was used, and he built those libraries as international territories where people can go in and access information. Most of those libraries are gone in my part of the world. They've been shut down and replaced by comics and things like that. The building itself is just is standing derelict, you know. I know it's been hijacked. I see it myself. So... Okay. See uh, ship's papers. Uh, I've got I've, I've got Miller's book here. I bought all the people that I know books of his uh, these books, you know, yes. and I sent them out, and we're studying it together. But we are we are as ignorant today. <laughs> we are ignorant as yesterday as we are today. <laughs> if, if that no, makes sense. I, no, actually, you're just more more consciously. Uh, aware that uh, things are going on around you and now you're you're looking at mechanisms to, to create a, your haven or your 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 free what we call a free port your location where uh, in customs in customs and policies where customs officers can't come to and so you create your own haven within that paradox because everyone on the planet whether they know it or not works for the post office and how could that be? Well, most, the majority of the people when they get birthed onto this planet get what's called a birth certificate. That birth certificate has a certified seal on it from the hospital 
that seal was bought by that hospital or that country's currency. And the currency for that country is authorized by that country's post office. The doctor, postmaster, bank, banker signs through the stamp and then ships you either into vital statistics or Department of the Health or some form of government agency who transport that contract typically through the mail. So, so there you are. You're, you just got shipped for the first time. And as you're shipped for the first time, you don't, you're not taught that you're in a shipping war because we just shipped you. And as we ship you and as you progress through your life, you get driver's licenses, which is a wonderful thing to have for public health. You get passports, which is a wonderful thing for, wonderful thing for closure as we go from travel from port to port. And what they don't tell you is the departments of transportation, you know, for each country is, a, gets, is an authorization as a bill of the lading to be on the roads. So the roads themselves are held in escrow account by that country's post office. And as you progress through life as a postal employee, not knowing that you're a postal employee, you come up to your eventual consequence of death, which again, they take your birth certificate, run it right into uh, 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 the attorneys, run it right into a probate situation. Everybody signs the stamps and moves you and attacks your estate and puts stamps on that and file stamps from their courts and file stamps from their corporations and signs those stamps. And my gosh, you were just shipped from cradle to grave. And you weren't told that when you walked, you know, when your parents walked out of the hospital, hey, we're going we're gonna to be shipping you from, from point A to point B. But, you know, we don't even know it ourselves because we don't know what we're doing or why that, we're doing. It. That, that is the actual mechanism. How, how I get out of it. It's what I'm talking to you about. How Correct. You've, you've explained that to me and through uh, Davey's videos and his conversations uh, with me, uh, I've worked that much out. So that's, that is what I need to do. You, you, you need to learn how to be a postal employee and join the post office as a postmaster. As a postmaster, you became, become a freight forwarder of the goods or the contract tenders that come in and out of your life. So by autographing the stamp, knowing the timelines, if, if something comes from you and it's got franking stamps on it, do you know what franking stamps are? No, I don't. Fr franking stamps, sir, are metered stamps that typically come from government agencies. They'll have a little time, you know, a little, little number on it, a, a date on it typically, and they have been prepaid by the corporation to the post office, and the post office is functioning as, an, as a as a shipping station to you and you have to learn how to refuse those once you become a postmaster these are techniques that that i that i teach and, and i show people how to do and the, the main thing is you do it in a timely manner that's that's the most important thing is the time and the capability to measure that time see what what you've told me has completely gone over my head and i'm being very honest with you that's, i'm that's... i'm not at, at all uh, saying there's something wrong with what you're saying I want you to know the level of the engagement is just boom. It's just going straight, straight over my head. I'm, I'm doing my best to concentrate on what you're saying. But this is a mechanism that I, I've never seen before. It's like I can only explain it to you in pictorial terms. It's like me opening up a watch and finding there's a whole world of universe in there of moving mechanisms and cogs, you know, and they're all moving simultaneously. So. I just cannot see the whole thing moving. I, I understand this little cog turning that cog, and there's a little governor there doing something which you say is the post office. That's the governor. It, it is shipping you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you are identified in capital letters. You have numbers for identification. You are a vessel in motion. And from cradle to grave, it's about knowing the mechanics of clearing yourself and the clearing mechanics of custom houses, clearing houses, and, and these are things that uh, I'm very good at. Thank you. As far as I know, that's got my name on it. Correct. Okay, that has got my name on it, and it's punctuated, just as you said. Correct. And, and that stamp there. Have you autographed that stamp? No, would I you, haven't. Uh, this, you, this stamp I have autographed. 
okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yes, I see that. You see that a little barcode underneath that? Yeah. That front? You need to autograph anything where you got a stamp on that document. You need to autograph those stamps because okay. that makes you a postmaster. But don't don't go over the barcode because we're going to use that barcode in another clearinghouse. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I I will put my autograph across. Yes, because what what you need to be cognizant of is labels. Uh, labels are classified as as postage stamps. So you you must when you put a label like a shipping number on there, that's classified as a postage stamp, and and your listeners need to be be cognizant of that, and you want to place your autograph across that. Thank you. This is this is my understanding of it so far. Yes. yes. That is my name and that is my address. And nobody Correct. nobody on this planet, according to the UPU, can be in receipt of this document unless I have my name on it and my address. I cannot be in receipt of that. And since the post office is the highest authority on our planet, apart from health and safety, I can only be in possession of that, so I am who I say I am. Correct. No one can tell you who you are. Now, they may ask a thousand times for, for a different name or a, or, or a different number, but as long as you command control of your conscious thoughts and don't traverse with that, you are who you say. And the manifestation around you, will the universe has to give it back to you. It has no choice. Okay. I I do need a second to grasp the magnitude of what you what you just said because you've now left the world the terrestrial world and spoke about the universe. I I have an instinctive feeling. I I was taught by a linguist, a theologist, um, certain certain numerical mechanisms that govern our language, but mm -hmm. I don't think he fully first uh, what it is that he himself was understanding so I can I can get a glimpse of what you are telling me it's the language that programs my mind alter the language and you get to program my mind as you want it because you are the programmer these are the letters that you're typing in to this hardware that causes this hardware to manifest or function in this particular way. You're just downloading your program for me to function in a particular way. What you are doing is allowing the hardwire, I'm paraphrasing it now, you're allowing the God-given hardwire that's already in our brain, you are removing the software and putting back in to the language of the hardwire. It's a, fre it's a frequency move. It's a frequency move. Um, I understand frequency as perhaps hertz. Is that what we're talking about? In some in some forms, yes. But there's also a world of that that folds and bends constantly in in what's called the space time continuum. And knowing how to position your your contracts within that uh, is very valuable to your what shows up into your location and you got to be careful what you wish for or you just might get it so have good thoughts one towards another right have to have clean thoughts and ha and and be honorable to others needs and and, and help those who need help because we all need help no one's perfect i understand um this is more than an interview, of course. This is uh, you actually tutoring me. That's I think what you're doing is tutoring uh, oh, the listeners yes. as as well. And it's 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 fantastic. It it really is. You know, um, I can't thank you enough uh, for it. I'm going to take the subject matter slightly out into the world. What other people do to us, for example. Income tax. This is the income tax in the UK. Tax. I, for one year, close on to a year, have not filled in any tax returns or anything like that because I am so disgusted with it. Now there's a deadline looming 
uh, in a few days I have to submit it otherwise they find me and blah 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 you sure. know they 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 set uh, what what they call these things bailiffs upon me and things like that tariffs yeah uh, <laughs> thank you um, what do I do what do I do well I I would uh... First of all, you you'd want to syntax the paperwork. I don't know if you do you know how to syntax? Do you know what no, that means? I, I know what syntax is, I know what passe is. I only understand it as parts of concepts, not as parts of action. You can tell me that's a car and it drives, but I cannot drive, if you understand okay. what I mean. Oh, oh yeah, I do understand comprehend. Okay, so what normally is done is that we we would syntax the the paperwork that is being articulated and then we would sue for the correct grammar to be used and send a postal money order in to pay that and what happens is the governmental agencies send the money back saying you don't qualify <laughs> do, do you know why I'm laughing it's like you you know I've asked you I've asked you how to uh, kickstart this engine that's bigger than my house and you and you've come along and you say look here you know just just put this little cap into that little hole and this will kickstart this It'll 500 kick, million yeah. <laughs> 5 million hundred horsepower engine you said just put it in there and press well, that button so lucky for, lucky for <laughs> you your nation is in joinder with the IMF and the World Bank and because of that, they're cognizant of my global tax structure. So under, under knowledge and negligence for Title 42 stopping and correcting of a wrong, you have that right as a postal employee of your venue. So wh what do I do? I, you said we. I understand we as being me and you. You know, you're going to do this for me? I, I don't get it. You know, I'm stuck in this world of exchanging money and, you know, you're going to charge me this. And, and, and we encourage everyone to pay their taxes. Because we say, if you don't pay your taxes, you're going to end up in court. And there's not many people that I've seen that are qualified to handle the, 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 the things that happen to, in those venues. And they're very taxing. They're very hard. Uh, I know for, from personal experience, I've been beat down extremely, gone through some extreme tortures where you know you go without food for you know 60 70 days go from like a, I went from in one case I went from 186 pounds down to 104 pounds just beat to a pulp you know cold treatments water you know you name the show right so I they I, they, they tortured you oh yeah oh yeah you you're not aware of all the I've been in more court battles than anyone you know Oh, yeah. I, no, I, I don't know. There is, oh, very, little, there yeah. is very little information out there, Russell, about oh, yeah. oh, you. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, look, I've, I've, been through, I've been through many battles, many battles. Every battle I've won, but it's, that's why I think that's why when people see me, they take off a running. Uh, when military generals see me, everybody jumps to attention and salutes because I've, I've handled myself very honorably in those positions even though it was very disrespectful what was done and so and then uh, you have to be humble and it, uh, being humble is, is is a hard situation I've had judges across the table from me 80 you know 90 year old judges just cry and bawling their eyes out saying such conviction and courage we've never seen and just gentlemen just completely losing it in front of me crying you know, of course, they're on a level plane with me, no robe on, you know, sitting across the table. I don't, I don't, you know, but now I've earned the respect with it. I'm the judge that disqualified the United States Supreme Court judges on October 1st of 2004. They took a gold filing from me 48 days before that. I walked into the U.S. Supreme Court, disqualified them. All the judges retired. Congress made five of them stay uh, and four of them retired immediately. One was the head judge. I called all judges to court nine times. After calling them all to court nine times or three times, which I three struck all nine judges, uh, Capitol Hill police and, see, and all the um, security guards were standing one, one step for, up from me screaming at the top of their lungs trying to get me to talk to them. I had the flag out and I was going through my downloads of calling all the justices to court and at 0923 I called for the custom house brokers because the fee had been paid for the bills of the lading for the transportation of the vessels into the foreign vessel, the dry dock foreign vessel and all the 
everybody jumped on my plane and said, Judge Gould, we're here. Would you like to come in the building? I said, I no longer need the building for there are no longer any judges in it. And their jaws dropped. Literally, everybody's jaws dropped. And uh, they signed off on my stamps. We walked around to the clerk's office, filed everything correct. And they still tried to trick me there. So they tried to put uh, September 31st. Well, there's no such date as September 31st on my paperwork. So I had to stop and correct them there. How do you know when a judicial system's lying to you? Their hands are moving and their lips are moving. The whole yeah. thing's a scam from A to Z. And that's when I moved into my military uh, court martialing of George Hyphen Walker, Colin Bush, and um, a lot of admirals and generals and all his staff uh, for eight years. Yeah. Well, since you've mentioned that, I have a question sure. uh, from from Robert. And if you if you wish to uh, veto any uh, question, just say so, and I will and I will oh, absolutely uh, no. respect it. You know. Um, Look, can I can I just stop for a second and just congratulate you on being who you are? Well, thank you. <laughs> it's an honor to serve once again. I I I need the the people to comprehend how to have you know get to me so I can help them in their contractual grammar and and their and their post you know their postage from point A to point B. So it's kind of exciting for me too. Okay, then, uh, then I'll ask this question first. I have been desperately seeking for eight months somebody to tutor me on this technology. And, sorry, this uh, Wayne Miller's book, that is. Uh, yes. the, so I beg your pardon. Uh, I, I can't help but feel that you are sitting right here in front of me. So as a result, I'm you know, waving this in front of you. <laughs> That's right. All right. Sorry. Go ahead, man. I think time and space has shrunk and we are you know, sort of a few inches away from each other. Yes. Uh, that, that's how I'm engaging, I feel, towards you. Um, do you have a tutor, somebody who can tutor me and the people around me in Britain, in the UK? Do you have some sort of a lead? Um, if you do, please, oh, you know. In, in Great Britain, I did have a really good student of mine in uh, uh, Bretagnol, France. Bretagnol in France. Okay. And he he was my translator when I went to the Universal Postal Union, and we went when we went to the Vatican at Rome, and Interpol uh, over in um, well Lyon, France, and uh, but I'm not sure where uh, uh, the gentleman is. Uh, he he was he was quite a traveler, and he was heading down to the Philippines last I spoke with him, and I believe he got married. He sent me an email. Actually, I helped him, if I recall, I actually helped him with his marriage contract or was in the process. I don't got so much things going on. But uh, yes, uh, I did have someone over there, but I, I currently don't. I probably should maybe make a run over there sometime too and uh, see about doing a seminar over there or something. I don't know. Maybe that would be good. Is there an, quite an interest over there? In, uh, I'm, in I'm the only one that's generating the interest. Um, I have put ads out everywhere and I only got one reply from Australia, <laughs> that, from Australia of all countries, you know, and I didn't even apply to well, Britain. Nice. One, but I, I, I have been training people on what I call my ambassadorship. These are people that, are, that will become familiar with certain types of technologies, especially medicine. Uh, linguistics, but not this type of linguistic, and a whole heap of things. And I've been training people, and I've trained 30, uh, 38 or 37 people so far. Good and team. most of them have this. Uh, some of them just cannot comprehend, uh, comprehend it, you know? Yes, I do. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely can do that. I can definitely get people to do this and engage you and get some sort of tutorage going on. Because it's like the blind leading the blind, you know. I am blind. I'm sorry, but I am blind. And there's people behind me, and there's people in front of me, and they're relying on me. But I am blind. Um, that is that. I'm. I'm going to ask you. Um, that that was a statement, by the way, just to let let you know the level of my ignorance. I think I understand what you're saying. All right. Yes. So, I mean, if you can't syntax, if you physically cannot syntax their paperwork on the fly of everything that they stick in front of you, 
you're going to have problems because you're, you're, you're going to lack knowledge of what it is that you're trying to do. And that's why there's so very few of us is because we've taken the time to study to do that. So it's very difficult for me to give you counsel because I don't want to see anybody get hurt. And yet I know it's all a fraud. So there's, there's my, there's, there's my counsel as it may be. Okay. All right. I've, I've got that answer. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. This is a Pacific question. I, All right, I'm going to read it out to you. Uh, okay. there, is, there is a situation over there in the U.S. Uh, since uh, two C 2004 where a PP PPP private placement program was made with net proceedings of C 27 mil or 27 million were to be paid out. This payment is believed uh, to not have happened as apparently the total funds were hijacked by uh, President 41 and President 43, uh, who was in seat. Whilst, uh, this is the Bushes, uh, whilst the proceedings were hijacked, it is also understood that they, President 41, were never able to use them and were in lockdown. In the bigger part of this investment, it is understood that other institutional persons were able to collect their part. In 2008, people, people was in Washington and understood have uh, received, uh, rescued this portion in the sum of T's, I don't know what T's is, and bought it home with him. For the remainder uh, of the investors, it was understood that the lockdown funds were placed back in the Treasury and are currently held in a trust account under uh, Bernanke. Uh, I think that's the Lloyd Bernke, I think that is, the guy that bankrupted so many banks. And uh, no one yet has got to them. Uh, we'll talk to conclude. That's the message you gave me. This is a friend of mine whose uh, has assets were hijacked, 27 million of them. 27 million euros, I think it was. They stole that from him. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, he went into the trading program. <laughs> yeah, that 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 is an unfortunate thing. That uh, that arena and that world of fiction can create and do anything they want within that world because the contracts that they went into and traded their assets on are all based on false and misleading statements. Therefore, there's no liability or accountability that can be uh, that can be levied against the bankers or the, the brokers or whoever transshipped. Transship means to take the goods from one location and put it in another location. And and the routing that occurred there, I was not, you know, I, I, I'd have to see the specific details to show them the, the, the postmarks and how, how, how it went down and the clearing that went through that, who authorized it, who was watching it, were, were they, what shipping mechanism were they using for their trading program and then the the of course the mechanics of the clearing for it uh, you know there are ways to capture that but you know that takes a lot of time and effort and I, I I can't just can't go in there and do that for free because I'd be exposing way too much and then you're tinkering in worlds that you're you're chasing fiction you're chasing a fiction dream and unfortunately for the people they didn't know how to safeguard their equity and there were a bunch of attorneys probably involved and a bunch of things that have probably occurred there. I'm, not, I'm just speculating because I don't know the, the circumstances. And the attorneys, you know, relinquished under the bailments, what they call the laws of the bailments, relinquished the funds some way to, the, to whoever was, you know, going to be the, become the uh, – they, they removed themselves from a principal to a, a supposed beneficiary and somewhere in the in, – in, in the onslaught of things, they, they be, the beneficiary became someone else. So I would have to see the contracts. It's something that I really, it something yeah, that's, that that's 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 very, fine. We're, we're very, gonna we're gonna come and we're gonna come and see you anyway. Uh, very, just just to be part of this, you know. 
Oh, well, thank you. Uh, it'd be an honor to have you there. I, did, I was wondering if someone was going to record it so you can record it and get the message out to the people. That's really who needs the message so that they can see the dynamics of what is capable out here for them to to get to and, and to, to be a part of. And, and, and that's really the most important message of my campaign for 2016 is to make sure that the people can comprehend correct communication, parse, syntax, grammar, and know how to how to how to how to join with it. Yes, th thank thank you very much for that. If is it okay if I communicate with you uh, through Skype in future, as sure. well as the uh, sorry email, uh, for me to ask you some specific questions because they will keep cropping up. Is that okay with you? Yes, yes, I'm fine with that. But please comprehend, Mark, that a lot of the situations that you're going to ask about, if I have not seen the chain of custody and, and what's called the rules of the continuance of the evidence to the vessels or the contracts that are done, I really can't really make a real valid comment on anything because I'm not. And then, you know, you're asking for my time. And uh, I, I mean, it's just, it, I, I can give a, a summary but not knowing the exact circumstances and being involved with it. Now, if I was involved with it and somebody was coming I, what, on... What I'll do is I'll just pause a few seconds. Um, the questions would be uh, not case... They won't be cases. They won't okay. be like me asking you to do something. It would be educational basis. Like, for example, um, when, you, when you answer something, it does bring up two, three other questions. And That's I can something. usually answer those questions by reviewing this video and that video. So I won't bore, bore, bore you with that. Uh, so it will be just educational stuff. I will not, I'm not going to pass on cases to you. Of course, yeah. of course not. You know, I, I'm yeah. aware of certain levels of boundary, and I'm not going to take advantage of that's just that. That is not in my nature, and I would find that disgusting yeah. and vile. So I don't yes, want to I, do it. I, I'm a very, I, I have a full plate. I, I'm, I work really hard at what I do. And I have my own banking system. I, I have my own currency. I have my own money. Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of that. I'm not in the middle of, of fiction. I'm, I'm in the middle of creating and manufacturing my own wealth, which is a much different, you know, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a science guy. So, so it's much different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I yeah. will email you to uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take part some... in your banking. I will oh, yeah. email you in regards to this, um, have this done. Yeah, yeah. Bring bring that with you if you come to the seminar, and we'll we'll discuss that because there'll be a lot of people from a lot of different countries there. Uh, a lot of people from you know Canada will be there, and uh, who knows where? You know, I I I don't discriminate against anyone. I just I'm so so knowing that I it's there for us all. So, and there's so much wealth on the planet. It's just absolutely uh, what I could do to the banking system in within 90 days is just staggering. Uh, as far as the bankruptcies and the freedom of the people and you know I've tried several times to abolish the national debt I mean I've done a lot of different things I've had a lot of different assets come through my possession at specific times and places by a lot of classified people that I I'm just can't divulge but uh, they would not allow me at that specific time to you know free the people take the tax burden off the people I had very simple clauses in my platform so you know I have my own trading platforms in quantum grammar quantum banking through whatever branch of world banking that you are choosing to do if you're doing what we call mankind aid that's one platform if you're doing private Private investments. That's another platform. So it just depends on what what the what the uh, the principal is trying to accomplish with their with their values. So okay. Well, I'll I'll ask you um, straight out then. I I hold seminars um, <laughs> seminars on various oxidating therapy, and I do that for a gentleman called Bill Humble. Uh, he discovered uh, sodium chloride when mixed with so, uh, citric acid can remove. Um, a variety of illnesses, uh, malaria, all proven by the way, malaria in four hours. In fact, just a few months back, they did that in uh, Africa uh, with a group of Red Cross volunteers and the Red Cross, uh, Red Cross head office found out about it and by that time the information went global that they have a cure for malaria and the Red, head, uh, Red Cross uh, head headquarters just completely squashed it. Yeah, you know? we just... I disqualified. I have my own health departments in quantum grammar. 
We disqualified the World Health World Health Organization charter in I believe it was 2007 out of uh, Zurich, uh, I believe no Geneva, Switzerland. I apologize, out of Geneva, Switzerland. So all those all those contracts that they're using are all false and misleading, and they've been put on publication that they need to stop and correct their grammar or vacate their position. Um. You, did you say it's been publicized or published? I published it there. We published it with their. I have the shipping numbers. I'd have to just go track them down. But yeah, how how would I access something like that? I'd have to find the contracts and send them to you. <laughs> it's, okay, I think I understand. Scan them in, scan them in, and email them to you so you can take a look at it. Take a look if you if you like the foundations because we don't call it we don't call it illnesses because it's I L L. We call it a foul F O U L, and so we have different. And we're not doctors because doctor means that you practice and you get a license, and so what we are is we're balancers. And no, so we, we, we have, I have, I have a whole different, in my medical platform for quantum grammar, and that's a whole different paradigm if you choose, if you have a client that says, hey, I've got this really cool thing that's going to help the world, how do I get it out there? Well, instead of running to Red Cross, we would do a, a much different platform, I promise. It would be much different. So, you know, you, you, it's, I don't want to may I May I, in that case, send you details of who this person is? Uh, oh yeah, if, if they choose to be interested in quantum grammar and what will it will do for their technology, absolutely. I'm someone that is I'm very advanced, not in their subject matter, but in manifesting their concept to the public. Because if they have a that their when the when the claimant who has a foul comes into their balancing station. One of the things that they authorize is a claim of the life. Now you're moving them out of what? Jurisdiction. So now you can now do your ministrations to balance the vessel. And it's a whole different program. It has to, to do with vessels moving in and out of vessels in dry dock. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's, it is uh, mind-boggling. If, yeah. if I get a summons... From the magistrates. I'm in the UK, so it's usually the magistrates. Okay. I need to go in, beat the crap out of them, and move out <laughs> safely. <laughs> well, if, if you understand what I what I mean. Which, which, in Britain, we are sick. We are sick to our stomachs with a level of in-your-face corruption that it, it causes me to spontaneously want to vomit, as it were. You know. Well, at at the seminar, I will show you tricks and traps of the court and how to navigate yourself within that within a timely manner. So you will actually run a summons back into them. Well, you're going to summons yourself there. You're going to summons them to your plane. You're going to you're going to have your ship's papers, your sea pass, your letters of safe conduct for navigation in and out of the foreign vessels in dry dock. This is what I do. Thank you. Well, um, in that case. What what is a C treaty that is spelled S E A? What is a C pass? I beg your pardon. Okay, a C a C pass is is giving closure that you're going to navigate your vessel from point A to point B, and you're going to file function in a timely manner. Remember what I told you about contracts in the beginning? It must be timely, and so you're going to give publication to all those who wish to board your vessel that these are the terms that you're going to function in compliance with. And we're going to file, file it with the, the countries like uh, in the U.S. here, we uh, file it with the Department of State, right? Department being a pronoun, you know, of is an adverb making state because we're filing for, because we're a foreign vessel and they're foreign entities. So we're coming in from foreign to foreign in consular posts to do postmastership skills to, to part ways and control equity. And this is just a piece of paper that you've written up, or anybody, anybody, that... anybody, could, anybody that has knowledge can write this. I don't have to write it. Anybody with knowledge can write these. With knowledge, knowledge of quantum grammar, or knowledge of quantum grammar and the dynamics of navigating yourself from point A to point B. You know, that's that's what I, that's what I do. I I, I give closure. Um, and I mail myself into mail myself into military bases or wherever. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty fun. <laughs> you should see them. They just go nuts. 
Um, I, I, I'm also got, you know, the question, uh, a C treaty, which is S double E, a uh, here treaty, a drug law. I know a drug law is something to do with throwing yeah. a rope across, uh, uh, to hanker yourself, I think it is, something like that. Yeah. It's a time. It's a timeline function dealing with timelines. The S E E treaty is to use the characters and the hieroglyphics, because ninety nine percent of the time, when you look up the definition of C in the in your law dictionaries, S E E will mean to look through the Pope's jurisdiction, and so we're not. We don't need the Pope's authorization to see what we're doing. We I've already conquered all that at the Vatican and on June sixteenth of two thousand three at the Secretary of the State's office there with the postage stamp joiners by uh, the Secretary of State of the Vatican for my C Treaty C pass and drug law with David. Wow. Okay. Uh, Master Master, as far as I know, is a uh, safety officer, I believe. It, it is someone who uh, musters the, the troops into the field for inspection and drill and for, for, for movements of vessels through um, military movements. And that is, I'm very skilled. I'm a very gifted commander in chief. Very gifted. I have a lot of skills in that field. I have done practical movements for myself and other musters to do specific things and keep me safe in specific locations. And I can say the technology is sound. Thank you. Wow. It's uh, talking to you is it's quite an amazing it's an amazing uh, experience. I I really did not know that you you had um, I won't use the word suffer because I recently heard uh, learned that word suffer means by consent. Uh, yes, there was, there was no consent there. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> it was just <laughs> you was talked. You was tortured. Uh, talk is I think oh, is the word. Yes, yes. I've I, I've been through some. I've been through some some. And the only person that stood by my side was David Heifelin Colin Miller. He came in and out of the vessels. He's he saw it was. It, he'll tell you who's got moxie and who's got the toughness and you know it's not about being tough it's about being correct and you know I'd rather die than live in a lie unfortunately for myself and I have to use this word unfortunately this is how I feel but I lack knowledge I have felt like this since the day that I was born I've been battling against this since the day that I was born but never had any technology, any help with it, uh, and I and I realize now, if you're going to do the things I do or you do, we are basically alone, and we might we might make one or perhaps as how many as two friends on the way, and they're the only people that count, as far as I know. You know, and you you know, you're with this technology. I've seen it divide families. It's very sad to see how the fiction attacks uh, the citizens. Uh, not only just in quantum grammar, but just on a worldwide level, you can just see the pain out there. And I, as a world, you know, as a world banker and the things that I do, control of the global currency, it just doesn't have to be that way. And 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 the choices that people are making, and I and I do need to do a better job of giving people access to me. I'm very um, very very focused in my science worlds. And it's kind of taken me away from the people and the things that I know that I have to give. And so I'm, I'm going to do a much better job in the, in the near, starting to from this day forward, to, to give the people more choices to get to me so that, so that they can have the, the knowing and, 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 the, and the capacity to control. No, that's a lie. Like, when we deal with, like, the CIA, right, dealing with those guys, we're just like, yeah, get fiction. They just put their heads down and walk out the door, right? And they turn around and look at us and, like, does everybody have to have a contract with you? And we're like, yeah, everybody does. Oh, Russell again, we don't want to deal with you. And they just walk out of the door with their heads down, right? And we treat them with just no honor whatsoever because of the lie that they've, you know, if this is, if this is the think tank, give me a break. Right. There's definitely a better way. So it's about getting that word out to the to the to the people 
and then the people can make their own choices. Okay. But I, I am a I'm a wonderful and righteous person, and uh, a good leader. Thank you once again for that. Um, you say we. When you say we, we are you are referring to you uh, and. Uh, people that have been with me in, in locations, I typically walk in with two or three equipped people that on the fly can syntax and, and just go into downloads and have been places with me to, to maintain a rules of continue. I have a history, you know, a past history with them so that they can have, a, you know, David or, you know, whoever's been in situations with me to where I've come, you know, knowledge to knowledge with very intelligent people people standing in a room, you know, where they, they're at you with, you know, you'd be able to say I was dealing with like the head of the U.S. Secret Service, Federal Secret Service on uh, January 15th of 2002. Uh, and, uh, you know, he just flat out told me, he says, you know, Russell, it's corporate policy of the United States government to hire stupid people. That way we on top aren't accountable for what they do. He says, no one's going to ever believe you, Postmaster General. But you're him. This is I am. So, you know, just – and David was standing right there. So, I mean, just people that have been in some of those situations with me. Uh, and I'm, 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 I'm pretty selective because, you know, it takes a lot of, lot of uh, knowledge to walk in there. And, and I, I'm not a very good babysitter because I'm too busy in my downloads. And that's – that because I have so much coming at me and I have to be correct. Otherwise, you know, I'll get, I'll get pummeled. Yes, yes, I completely respect that, of, of course. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at the, the place where you are. It looks like a car to me. Yeah, I am sitting actually in my truck. Uh, you're, you're sitting in my truck, yeah, I, I work. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that. Uh, I won't question you further uh, on it at all. But it, it'll be fascinating for me to meet you face to face. The, and just... the, the, the people that hang around me call me Rumpelstiltskin. Because I turn everything to gold. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to show you something now. Okay. This is, it says World War Three, mm -hmm. and it's by Jack Otto. Okay. And it speaks about the Khazar Empire. Do you, would you know anything about the Khazar Empire? They're, they're, for, for example, the Rothschilds were uh, Khazar, Khazars, Khazars, beg your pardon, uh, to capture the uh, banking industry, uh, various secret societies, the, the Freemasons and things like that. Would you know anything about that? Now, the reason why I'm asking, on page 71, and I have done my research, by the way, All it's right. got something very alarming. And you have addressed it. Wonderful. Oh. You have addressed it, but it's it's in my it's in my oh gosh. Um, my computer is running out of steam, so you better hustle up with your questions. Cause okay. Uh, one of the things. one of the executive orders, one of the executive orders is that they will cancel all registered postmaster generals. Uh, these are what do you call it? Um, uh, martial laws. They will. Uh, uh, they will. They will cross out all postmaster generals. We well, didn't know the significance of postmaster generals until they listed of all the things that they're going to uh, appropriate, like which is everything, and one little bit there which says postmaster general. You know, my God, a postmaster general. You know, it's like we didn't even know what that was. You know. <laughs> Well, the, the nice thing for me is I am a registered commander in chief because I conducted a military court martialing of George Eichmann Walker, Colin Bush, and I've syntaxed all those executive orders for false and misleading statements. And the Pentagon has leased the flag from me on February 20th of 2003. The Secretary of the Navy's office entered into a lease agreement with the flags, with David and myself, with me as Commander in Chief and Postmaster General and Treasurer of the contract. I then filed those contracts with NATO on our muster roll. So I, I'm a I'm a little bit a little bit different. Uh, those that would not be a. Uh, first of all, it's written in the adverb verb, and second of all, it's not applicable because I'm a registered commander-in-chief with commander-in-chief skills. Okay. 
just two two things. May I have your permission to call you back, make an appointment with you another time to conduct another interview? May I have that permission from you? Yes, yes you may. Thank you. The second of all, uh, what I wanted to ask you, once again, this is personal to me. Uh, I work, uh, I had uh, type, sorry, I had diabetes about three and a half years ago. And mm -hmm. everything changed in my life because I sat down in the gym and I said, to this day, right now, I'm going to not have diabetes. And within four days, I worked out a plan of how to get control of my diabetes. And I went to my doctor with that, and my doctor didn't believe it and had did all the tests. But what I did is I told him how it's done. I, found, I located the insulin resistant cells in one's body and I just simply exercised it, forcing the sugar, sugars to go into those cells. Um, since then, my world has not been the same because it just went on and on and on. You know, Everything that I know, the people that I trusted, even my doctors, all bloody lying, all liars, making money from me. You know, My world ended then. But, but a few few weeks back, since I do these seminars for Jim Humble, who discovered his, his own types of technology, which he later found out were painted in and then uh, filed away so no, nobody accesses it, um, the BBC, which is the British Broadcasting Corporation, uh, secretly filmed, filmed me doing a seminar. And I'm not even a big name. You know, I'm a small guy, you know, in a very big pond. I'm a very small fish. Well, you're and, asking good questions. You ask good questions. So. And um, the BBC, what they did, it, throughout the nation of the United Kingdom, in primetime TV, villainized me as a kind of a, a black criminal, you know, who takes money from um, sick people, even though it's just a seminar, you know. And I was thinking to myself, well, what reason would they go to that length? to make me look like a villain in prime time TV in, in front of a whole nation. You know, why would they go to such extent? It did not, it, it doesn't equate. Why would you, if you want to take me out, send an entire nuclear weapon on top of my house? It doesn't make sense. Why don't you just put a, a drop of poison in my cup? You know? Well, they, they just want it. They want to, uh, they want to make the message that you seem lose steam. And so the message that you must have been speaking about, they had to cause it to lose face. So they have to destroy the messenger. And that's, I've, you know, I've been in many newspapers down here myself. And so I know all about that. But I can say this. People are waking up. And as they wake up, they make choices. And the choices they make allow governments to exist because governments exist because we the people allow so we have to keep that it's a numbers game there's more of us than there are of them hmm. i just have to continue doing what i'm doing but that's that, that is obvious that and the same, same. sorry can you repeat the last few seconds? It, it kind of cut out. Okay, let me turn off the video. Uh, are you still there? Oh, yeah. Okay, I've turned off the video. The internet connection has gone down. Could you un um, say what you did in the last, uh, say, five, six seconds ago?